hi guys welcome to this video in this video i'm going to quickly show you how you can export your django models into a csv file so in django we have a way we define our database using the django models and basically i have this application i'm working on here it's a social media application and it has a model of profiles which basically has different profiles of different people in the application so what I'm going to do is use this model to test in this video. So I'm going to export all the data we have in this model into a CSV file. So if I just click on one of the model, that should open quickly because I have it running already. So it should just show me the details of that model, the user, the ID, the bio, the profile image, and the location. So this is the details I have of a particular object in that model. So I want to export all of the objects into a CSV file. Now let's do this. So first of all, let's come here into our code. So this is basically the code or the project of what I'm building. And the first thing we want to do is to make sure we have HTTP response imported and we have CSV imported. So once we have these two imported, we are good to go. So now we can just create a new view and we can name that view export to CSV. Export to CSV. We just define it the normal way we define a view. Request. And now since the particular model I want to export is called profile as I said so right here if I switch to model real quick we'll see that I have this profile model right here so this profile model that I have right here is what I want to export and I just need to make sure that I have it imported in my views which is right here so I have it imported from the model import profile and what I just need to do now is to say profiles equals to profile dot object dot all so i'm basically just getting all of the profile objects i have in that model and i have a new variable named response i will use a square bracket and i'll say content distribution so i have to specify the content distribution content hyphen this position goes to attachment then we have the semicolon then we'll say the file name we have to specify the name and we can give it like profile let's say profile export csv and now that we have these the next thing we want to do is to say writer equals to csv dot writer the response but actually before this response here we want to have like an http response defining the type of the file so I want to say response, I want to give it an HTTP response. I want to define the type of the file so it knows that it's a text or CSV file. So this is the type of the file. And then back here, what I just want to do is to say writer dot writer row or dot write row. parentheses a square bracket and in here what i just want to have is all the when i come into my models the name of the fields in my models is what i want to have so if i switch there real quick the name of all these fields but well, i want to have it i'll write it the way i want it to be in the csv file headings basically so this is like the headings so we have user ID user, this can be user ID right there, biography, 
profile image and location so let's start so let's say user so this is like the heading in the csv file user id we have the bio we can just have that as bio we have the profile image yeah that's what was next let's have these as apps so that's the profile image and we should also have location yeah so user user id bio profile image location let's make sure that's correct user user id bio profile image location so now we have how we want the heading to look like as the top of the list now we can say profile fields now this is where we will specify the real profile fields that must tally with the name of the field in the models of your wi-fi we'll say profiles which is from this profile dot values now it has to be dot values underscore list and not dot value so it has to have an s right here because it's more than one it's a list basically so now we just specify all the fields right here so exactly the way it is user just paste it the next one is id user paste it in there and just like that the bio and profile image and the last thing is the location so as you can see the heading what is going to show in the end it tallies with this so user is this user user id is the id user the bio goes with the bio profile image goes with the profile image field and location goes with the location so when this is being exported all the values of this field is going to be under this particular row so now that we have this let's just use a for loop to loop through every single thing and export it as a file basically so say for profile in profile field writer dot write row for each of the profile and let's just basically return response so this is all we need now we have this view that is basically getting all of our all of uh all of the objects in this particular profile we've defined the type of file it is we added the content disposition and we added the name of the file we wrote the csv using this response and then we had the heading of each of the rows then we also got all the values of that particular model then we just looked through it and wrote each of the rows using this profile and then now we're returning a response so let's save this now and let me copy the name of this particular view so now we're going to go into our urls and what we want to do is just to have a new view I want to name this exports to CSV and it can come from views that export to CSV and let's give it a name export to CSV now we can just save that so now that we have that saved let's copy this particular name so now we can just come back to our views.py so right here we need to change disposition to disposition so if not that's just not gonna work so but now we can just save this file again and go back to our browser now if we go to slash export to csv and we hit enter now you see that that page doesn't even load but it should download the file for us so normally this shouldn't be showing yeah so it downloaded it twice yep exactly 
So let's go back. If we are from this page and we go there, that page is not like rendering any template. What the page is doing is just downloading the file. So we can also allow it to render a template. Like after returning that response, we can, you know, render an HTML template. But for now, this is the scope of what we want to do in this video, just to basically download that CSV file. So let's just drag one of what we downloaded into our Visual Studio Code project. Let's just paste it in here. And then let's open it up. Okay, good. So you can see we have the, let's quickly go back to our views. What we had was the user, the user ID bio. Let's just cross check. So we had 10, 10, A, hey, I'm the best profile images and Manchester. So this is basically what we wanted, right? Now everything is working fine. Now I hope you got the scope of everything we did in this video. So when we open the CSV file right here, it doesn't really look well, but if you open it in Excel or you have like a CSV file reader, it's going to look well in the rows and everything. So that's going to be all for this video. I really hope you enjoyed watching it. And if you liked it, please don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.